Welcome back guys, today morning is still sleepy uh, I got a new shoe, the Liberate or Liberate uh, from Puma and I'm really enthusiastic to, to try it for the first time today it's a um, traditional flat shoe with uh, I believe a great ground feel uh, really low to the ground so yeah let's try I will try different uh, uh, sprints, I will try slow uh, running pace in different uh, uh, grounds. By the way, super nice place. In this video I'll give you my first impressions about the, the Puma Liberate Nitro. As usual an important remark, I bought this pair of shoes uh, with my money and no one is paying me for this video. I will split the video in three different chapters which uh, you can find in the description below. In the first chapter we are going to look at the hustle, midsole and upper. In the second one we will go through the running dynamics and uh, in the third chapter as usual I'll give you my overall opinion. The rubber on the household, the Puma Grip rubber, is distributed to minimize the, the weight. Uh, even without uh, the Puma Grip uh, rubber not covering uh, the entire outsole, uh, the rod grip uh, uh, remained uh, solid. I tested the outsole in wet condition, that roads, gravel, and I found it great. The shoe grasped uh, perfectly the ground. In terms of durability, I'll give you an update uh, in the uh, another miles review, but according to the other reviews, after 50 miles, it has no signs of wear, so it seems to be durable uh, rubber. The midsole is made up uh, of the Puma New uh, Nitro Foam. Uh, it's a super critical nitrogen infused like uh, Sketcher Hyper Boost uh, or Brooks DNA Flash, uh, material that provides a light and a bouncy ride. A sandwich TPU unit in the heel improves the stability. Uh, but despite that, uh, the forefoot and midfoot uh, parts are pretty flexible and do not have any particular stability construct. Uh, you may feel a bit odd uh, if you are used to uh, stability issues quite a bit. It's uh, less stiff than Zumex uh, and the last track form and has uh, more flexibility than the boost foam. Uh, we can even see it from the measurement with the durometer. The cushioning was good, has kept my legs uh, feeling uh, fresh during uh, my run. The Liberate Nitro is designed with an ultralight uh, upper made of a single uh, layer mesh, which not only reduces the weight of the shoe, but uh, it's uh, breathable except in the forefoot area where the mesh is more dense. The top box is not that roomy for my feet, which are thin. Um, the midfoot hold is uh, excellent. I took one size less than uh, the Adidas shoes uh, and it fits perfectly. The custard tank stays in place uh, and uh, does not cause any irritation. The heel of the shoe is flexible but is reinforced by a semi-rigid bar uh, which uh, managed to keep the heel locked in place. Uh, there is minor padding uh, on the inside part of the heel uh, but the top of the heel counter is not padded at all and uh, is also quite high. So it may rub into the Achilles part uh, of the heel for a few, even if in my case it wasn't an issue at all even during uh, a long run. I checked the running dynamic matrix for different paces. If you don't know what uh, this dynamic means, you can have a look on the left hand side with uh, uh, quick explanation. But basically, we are talking about the response and the efficiency of the shoe at different running paces. Good response overall and great efficiency, especially at medium pace. Uh, it is not that bouncy. Uh, I would expect uh, more bouncier, um, but anyway, increasing the pace, the response uh, improved, so better for tempo run and for fast workouts. Slow running. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
This is one of the largest uh, running shoes I've uh, ever run in. Uh, for lightweight runners, uh, it can be used uh, even for slow running, but I prefer it for speed workouts and for tempo runs. For racing, uh, I would use it uh, uh, for 5k uh, or 10k, maybe for an alpha marathon as well. So it's not stiff at all. Even uh, the outside is perfect. So it's not that stiff like in other shoes I have tested. So I mean, it's a great feeling in the in my feet. Uh, slow run sprints, even in the turns, uh, gravel path. Wow, what a great work! I have to say, I'm impressed. So. And the lockdown is perfect as well. I mean, even if there is this space here, a little bit like the Takumi, for instance, similar. But still, I feel my heel locked well. The laces are traditional, as I like. And despite the upper is just, uh, I believe, a single a layer mesh. It's not that breathable here in the forefoot, but still wraps really well the foot. So my eyes bleeding now. <laughs> Sorry for that. Uh, yeah, it wraps really well the foot and uh, yeah, I like it guys. I have to say thanks to who suggested me to try the Puma. I will put the comment here below. Thanks a lot. Uh, it was a great experience today, uh, that's definitely uh, the kind of shoe I'm looking for, uh, like for instance the RC3, now it will be a new release, the RC4 from Adidas, uh, not sure when, but I have already seen uh, the preview of the model, and yeah, this is a kind of shoes you can use uh, for slow running, you can use for uh, speed workouts, you will train your feet probably because it's lower to the ground. You have a really great ground feel. What I would add in this shoe is uh, the torsion system that could uh, act like uh, uh, a plate to increase the response of this shoe. Somehow I didn't feel in this shoe like in the RC3 for instance. Yeah? Uh, but overall, great shoe. I would use this shoe for a slow running. I would use this shoe uh, for fast workouts, for... Uh, um, uh, tempo run, uh, it's really versatile and guys, it's really cheap. So that's the shoe I'm looking for and thanks for suggesting me this shoe. As usual guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this content, please leave a like. If you don't want to miss any new video, subscribe. And uh, yeah, till the next time, keep running and see you. Ciao. Beautiful. <laughs>
I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say